Gemini, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the week of May 11th of 2020. What are they thinking, feeling, and experiencing reading? We're going to be checking on the person who by which uh, cancer is thinking of and or someone who by which some cancers may meet this week. I feel we're getting to the point where people are going to start meeting together, whether it's virtually or whatever, the importance of long-term marriages and snuggling into a family, I think is starting to become uh, an energy that is evolving a little bit during this week, but especially as summer starts to kick in, which makes total sense, right? So we're going to be starting out with the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed and I'm going to do a circle spread, and then we'll clarify and clarify, etc. later. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Gemini I'm reading for. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. With clearly defined messages regarding the person that's in their thoughts or who by which they may meet. During the week of April 11th, of um, April 11th, May 11th of 2020. Wow, I feel like that was somebody's birthday or something. Okay, so we have surrender. Wow, okay, so what they're saying, what Spirit is trying to say, Gemini, is that the person you're thinking of uh, is trying to or is being guided to lay something down, to think about the future before taking much action regarding you. The chameleon spirit is in their thoughts position. So they are being guided to act as if something fell apart, act as if. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's start down here. So in the relationship sector to another or others, the person you're thinking about, Gemini, uh, they are going to start to see more clearly their connection with you. Uh, it may take till mid to the end of the week of May 11th of 2020. They're surrendering from something that was, and they're trying to act as though they have stepped beyond what was so that they can see more clearly their connection with you during this week. So in the creative aspects position of the circle spread, this person's starting to reclaim their power. They are seeing more clearly and are now surrendering to what was and are now stepping into number 44, my favorite number, uh, a path of stability and security in the area of home family and a path in security and stability in the area of business, creativity, finance, and things of the material is what this person will be creating or focusing on this week. Now, in the actions position, we have the cow spirit. Wow. So miracles are happening for this person as they take action to surrender. They're starting to recognize these miracles in connection with you. And they're saying now's the time to reclaim their power to this person. So emotionally, by the weekend of the 16th or 17th of May of 2020, this person has the bat spirit energy recognizing that there could very well be a rebirth. I feel like this is a spiritual rebirth, learning, rising above and becoming stronger in connection to someone in the past, maybe you were in the past, but how to move forward. So this person subconsciously is being guided with the buffalo spirit energy to trust that the abundant universe will provide as they surrender and wait for clarity because time is going to give this person strength they may be acting like they are surrendering from what was they're being guided to trust that the miracles are endless. They need to remember that the abundant universe will always provide for them. But here day to day, they're being guided to watch their words. 
there was some form of frustration for this person, Gemini. And in the inner strengths position, they have the otter spirit. You are never alone. So spirit's giving them the strength to surrender to whatever will be, will be, right? You are never alone. Spirit's always with you, helping you to find peace, joy, and contentment is what they're saying to this person. Because if they will ground themselves by working on maybe music, writing, drawing, photography, pottery, whatever it is, that's going to help for them to shed something and not come out with such intense communication. So in a three-card summary to my woo, left, with the same spirit animal oracle, we've got the beginning of the week for this person. Uh, they're being guided to see the big picture and to know that there's always enough, whether something works out or not. Uh, they're being guided to take the lead in a situation, I believe, regarding you, Gemini, this week. They're going to speak their truth about their boundaries, but they need to watch their words and use their mind wisely and figure out, are they devoted to the situation or are they not? For they can now dream a connection with you into being. But look it, sometimes life stings. We need to clear out the clutter, the clutter of pain like we were talking about. So by midweek, this person has the cat spirit. Claim your independence and know that uh, slow and steady wins the race. They don't need to be in a hurry. In fact, they're being advised against that. To give gratitude and kindness to others and to maybe collaborate in the now. Enjoy things as they are. This person may be trying to change or manifest a miracle in connection with you because they're fearing they'll be alone or they'll be alone after this connection without the connection. So by the weekend of the 16th or 17th of May of 2020, we have believe in yourself. It's time to heal. Turn this knowledge into wisdom or you're going through a spiritual transformation. It's time to let go and know that you can have what you want. You can have something new. But this person is afraid to trust in the magic of this connection. They're learning through this connection. I think you guys are going to be shining brightly or you're starting to really let your light shine. And this person feels like this little mouse over here tending to the little things. Yeah, look at that. They're watching and waiting because Gemini has the canary spirit. Sing your own song. So we have a Gemini here who is chirping away, creating something successful. And they're kind of just waiting and are being guided to take a time out. That's what all those cards pretty much meant. So they're repeating now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the Gypsy Oracle deck and we'll clarify this person place circumstance situation for each of these positions dear lord spirit guides and angels for whichever gemini i'm reading for what is this person's or what are this person's thoughts feelings emotions viewpoints outlooks and perspectives regarding gemini sun moon or rising male or female for the week of may 11th of 2020 Ooh, yeah so somebody has like a harsh exterior somebody is closed off somebody is uh, love them and leave them and Someone else, okay, this person may see you as kind of cold and closed off and they're being guided to kind of surrender and see if you take off this protection of armor. Uh, it could be this person has that protection of armor and spirits guiding them to surrender or uh, if they want a deeper commitment or partnership, they're being guided with the young woman or man energies uh, to really speak their truth about a deeper commitment. Or they may be feeling like during midweek by midweek, you're acting as if there is a deeper commitment. But this person wants to see more clearly. There's joyfulness and happiness and connection with another or others here. And now this person is being guided to remain clear in the relationship sector, knowing subconsciously that the universe will 
the abundant universe will provide. Maybe somebody's hoping that someone else is reaching a, a period of success and that you could profit through them, not only financially with them, but also emotionally or spiritually. That's what this person is thinking about you. So in the creative aspects position, reclaim your power. This person wants to get together, communicate, share cheerfulness and joyfulness, and they're trying to continue to create that throughout the week or they're hoping for a second connection during this week. Some of you may, uh, let's talk about the actions position. So this person's being guided to take action, to trust in the miracles of life, that the miracles are endless. So they're being surprised that through all this fun they're having and creating in connection with you, Gemini, during this week, emotionally. Um... I feel like with the peacock energies, they're letting their light shine. They're being reborn. They're feeling like I can push beyond this harsh exterior. But I think this Gemini is just a little bit walking in the ego. And I don't mean that bad. What I mean is a surprise comes and all of a sudden there's cheerfulness and celebration. And they see that you're doing this. And they may feel like you're not giving them enough attention. Um, but you're just telling them that, you know. This could be an experience they learn from and they can go through a rebirth and move on, but be careful of their words is what this person is being told. So in their inner strength, uh, subconscious position, spirit is saying, remember with the Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide so that you don't, they're telling this person, overthink a situation where someone's just going to come and go. So this person might get a little bit intense with their words because they're recognizing falseness or they're imagining that you're being closed off because you're be because of this surprise could be by the end of the week going into the weekend gemini that you're very very surprised and you're going through some major rebirth within and this person is almost wanting to travel forward with you and they might get feisty because you're closed off. But it's like, I think instead of being closed off, this Gemini is focusing on letting their light shine right now. And this person's kind of all over the place. So in the inner strengths position, we have you are never alone. So they're telling the person you're thinking of that they with the melancholy energies will have the strength in the inner strengths position to surrender to however things will be, or they may be there to witness you taking action to step into the spotlight and be very surprised that your actions are bringing in such cheerfulness or helping you to reclaim your power and to go through a rebirth, knowing that that's what this meant. The abundant universe will provide in here. I didn't have to overthink it, or I know that they're overthinking it. I'm in it for a good time right now, but I don't think it's a time to make personal decisions because of what I'm working on. So this person is, they've been there, they've done that, they want to communicate, they're hoping for texting, talking, tweeting, emailing, or whatever with the letter energy. They want to give to this conversation, to communication. Um, they want to travel towards you. Uh, you may be doing some personal healing here, or they're hoping you'll come towards them because they're going through some personal healing. They're having or are trying to maintain hope with the widower energies that something hasn't ended. But I think they're starting to recognize what's ended is what they wanted, not what it truly is. So this person, by mid to end of the week of May 11th of 2020, they're recognizing their own truths with the priest here. Uh, they're maybe thinking that the truth is, is that someone here has the, uh, gosh, my eyes, enemy energies of lies and deceit. Recognizing I brought upon a situation to myself that I thought I could profit from in some way. And I thought it was love, but now I'm walking in energies of despair, hoping that we'll make a change someday in the area of our lives, home, business, and come into and reunite. So this person is going to be sitting there thinking about their fortune. So be careful if they're snippy because they are maybe being a little bit false. They're looking at your fortune, Gemini. 
hoping that you'll throw them a bone, right? And come into marriage, commitment or partnership. But here's you, male or female, with the Lord energies and the butterfly. They see that you are evolving. You have freed yourself from a transformation within a cocoon and you are flying into a path of success. And they're hoping that there will be maybe children, family, or they're thinking about a playful situation, something tied to the past, and that there are energies of misfortune. Um, they may come and buy you something to show their faithfulness over time. So Spirit's trying to help this person to avoid sitting in energies of sorrow and to know that everything is divinely timed. Someone else is needing to focus on something else first for now during this week. So for clarification, I'm going to bring in the, okay, I'm getting guided over here, the Osha Zen deck, tarot deck. So we can look at the signs and or astrological uh, uh, elements of who by which this Gemini will be dealing with during the week of May 11th of 2020. Yeah, they're being guided to take a time out so they don't sit in energies of overthinking and sorrow. Now they see you, I think, maybe as someone who's closed off, but they're being guided to kind of surrender to try to, they're trying to quickly to plant some roots with you at the beginning of the week, whichever Gemini this is, but this takes time, right? These trees take 100 years. So they may see you as closed off, but you're trying to give birth to things. It's, it's a very good connection here. And in their thoughts, they have the Six of Cups. Now, this author shows a young lady, a teenager, who's imagining a prince on a white horse. So she's going to start to be, or he, thinking in their mind, this will evolve. It's meant to be. So here you are, Gemini, in the relationship sector. They like getting together and connecting with you. I mean, with the Two of Cups, that's definitely friendliness. That's definitely two people who click really well. And this person in their relationship sector is looking at a Gemini who is very clear, organized, logical, disciplined, focused, and determined at this time when it comes to his goals and intentions. He's not afraid to cut people out of his journey right now because he is celebrating something. He'll, he or she will celebrate with you, but they're coming into their own power. And it's like at the same time, I have to say that different. Gemini, you're coming into your own power, and at the same time, this person's try, learning to come into greater strength within them. So in the creative aspects position, we have celebration. Look at that. And cheerfulness. Joyfulness. Reclaiming your power. Because you can get together and have a good time. Love is about patience and kindness. Look at that. So, Gemini, I'm really feeling this is you. This could be a Gemini you're thinking of. I don't know why I said that. Is there a Gemini with a Gemini? And you're both creating something successful? This person's thinking about, I feel your success surprised and in awe of you, Gemini, because they're recognizing that the miracles are endless. Yeah, they see you as setting goals and meeting goals and creating um, abundance, goals and intentions on a day-to-day -day basis where your life turns into a well-oiled machine. You are very passionate and evolved. Therefore, they're thinking maybe that you're being arrogant, but really I feel like this Gemini is good in the hood. It's all good. You know, celebration, success, happy, cheerful. So this person's overthinking, Gemini. Uh, some of you, no, they're being guided to get clear with their boundaries as well knowing that the, uh, the universe will provide if they stop overthinking a situation in the subconscious position and recognize moral from immoral, right from wrong. Time creates something over a period and through prayer. So this person may get a little bit snippy 
because they're hoping for a wish to come true in the area of the Nine of Pentacles. They see you ripening, Gemini, into a beautiful reason to celebrate. And it's helping you to reclaim your power. And they're going through their own experience as well, but it's more of a personal power. And that's a whole different reading for that person. So we've got in the inner strengths position, patience. This person's trying to be patient. They're being guided to be patient. They've got the melancholy energies and spirit saying, you're never alone. At some point, this beautiful connection could change, but it's going to take time and effort because the Gemini is evolving and stepping into a path of success. So they're being guided to be patient. All right, I think that's enough. The messages start repeating themselves, and then, yeah, we don't need to go any further. Um, so I, what I'd like to do now, yeah, confusion, sorrow. That's what this person is dealing with. I'm going to go backwards a little bit as I pick up the cards. So we've got someone being guided to sit in the energies of melancholy. Watch for false goals and intentions. Don't overthink, for they want to come into marriage or commitment, but they see Gemini as cold and closed off. Uh, they may be feeling energies of ego within themselves or in connection to Gemini. For in the relationship sector, there is cheerfulness. Uh, I'm sorry, there is joyfulness. And in the creative aspects, there is creating celebration and cheerfulness. Because of success, because of someone's actions bring a surprise. Ooh, I can't wait to hear what that's about. So if someone's doing well around you and you're a cross watcher, give this Gemini, you know, lots of positive feedback. Guide them in their dreams because this is a beautiful gift for this person. And they're going to watch who supports them, especially during this week. So we've got patience. Uh, this person's being guided to stop and wait and day to day to figure out what really fulfills them as they ground themselves because they want to watch their words. Uh, this may be another air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Gemini. <laughs> and the spirit is providing for you, and they see that. And they want you to come in and lift them up like the prince on a white horse. But you guys are focusing on what you're celebrating, which has to do with success and miracles. Beautiful for Gemini. So, of course, you may have a little... Someone who follows you around from concert to concert or something is what I'm feeling. Uh, this person's being guided to understand that they're never alone, that they just need to watch their words and know that through prayer, spirit will provide one way or another with Gemini or not. To act as if they have finally calmed and gone through a rebirth emotionally, for they will start to see more clearly. Uh, Gemini claiming their power, which is going to help them claim their power of being able to sit in that melancholy energy. They're understanding that through your actions and maybe even through their own, that the possibilities are endless this week. Beautiful reading. So I'm going to close with uh, a message for you, Gemini. Uh, should you have uh, resonated with some of the messages, you have further questions and or would like your own personal read, feel free to write me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Easter special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. All right, closing message please for Gemini. With the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck, again, by Colette Baron reed Oh, who else had this? I want to say it was Taurus, but I can't remember. All right, so we have the Dragon's Duel Energy, number 23, contemplating new paths, being blessed with the number three, which is the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Coming out of inner conflict, getting clear about the fact that Spirit has been guiding you into some form of blessed direction. It is now a time to get clear with yourself about what is right, wrong, moral from immoral. For positive actions, goals, and intentions will lead you forward into a positive future. The wheel of fortune could turn in your favor. Uh, this is about recognizing as you connect with other, other people, places, circumstances, or situations this week. 
Gemini. That at some point after prayer, signs and synchronicities, you will be able to make a clear choice. So in the meantime, you're being guided to uh, be kind and considerate, to trust that you are being divinely guide, guided by a higher knowing, recognizing that as you apply your authentic purpose through your inspiration and free will, that there will indeed be the celebration of both life, joyfulness, and abundance. Wow, this week for you, Gemini. So let me know how this is transforming for each and every one of you. Thank you again for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very, very much to those of you whom have donated. Take care and God bless.